Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Royal Highness Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Commander of the U.S. Naval Forces Central Command, Commander of the U.S. Fifth Fleet, and Commander of the Combined Maritime Forces, Vice Admiral Charles B. Cooper II at Qatabiya Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness was introduced to the organizers and participants of the Combined Force Maritime Components Commander Flag Course Number 2233C, which is held in Bahrain from the 14th to the 18th of August. The the course is organized by the U.S. Naval War College involving participants from across 11 ally countries. His Royal Highness welcomed the Vice Admiral, the organizers and the participants of the course to the Kingdom and emphasized the importance of joint military training and courses that bolster military cooperation between allies to achieve regional security and stability. He highlighted the depth of the strategic relations between Bahrain and the U.S., noting the Kingdom's commitment to further strengthening bilateral cooperation particularly in the military and defense field. During the meeting, a number of issues of common interest and the latest regional and international developments were discussed. The chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Aysa bin Salman Charity Educational Endowment, His Highness Sheikh Aysa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Hamad bin Faisal Al Malki, and the Chief of Staff of the Bahrain Defense Force, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagri Naimi, also attended the meeting. Under the patronage of the Cabinet Affairs Under Secretary and Honorary President of the Good World Society, Zahana Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, the association held the closing ceremony for the second edition of His Highness's initiative of uh, to prepare young leaders in the presence of the Minister of Social Development, Osama Al Asfur, the Director General of the Arab Planning Institute, Dr. Bedir Athman Malala, and a number of officials where certificates were handed over to 90 participants, young men and women, and five projects won a training grant from the Arab Planning Institute in Kuwait. Addressing the ceremony, Zahana Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa paid tribute to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, hailing royal visions and aspirations to promote youth initiatives. He praised the efforts of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to hone the skills of the youth and engage them in nation-building efforts, in line with the 2030 Bahrain Economic Vision. He paid homage to late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, hailing the directives of the advisor to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. He praised the efforts of His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to empower. Bahraini youth and hone their creative skills.
The President of the Supreme Council of Health, the SCH, Head of the National Medical Task Force for Combating COVID-19, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, paid an inspection visit to Salmania Medical Complex, the SMC, in the presence of Minister of Health Dr. Jalil Sayyid Jawad Hassan. The visit aims to follow up on the level of health services provided to citizens and residents. Dr. Sheikh Mohammed commended the ongoing support and directives of His Majesty the King, as well as the continuous follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on all efforts made to promote the health and safety of all. He also praised the tremendous efforts of the health sector affiliates who contributed to achieving the highest recovery indicators at the global level. They were informed about the provision of health services and the latest developments in treating patients, including mainly the coronavirus cases. Dr. Sheikh Mohammed also inspected the central, the central stores and SMC stores, where he stressed the importance of the availability of all medicines and the implementation of plans and strategies to sustainably cover the pharmaceutical stock in the kingdom to meet the patient's needs. For her part, the Minister of Health praised the role of the SCH in developing the health system in accordance with the royal directives of His Majesty the King and commended the continuous follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to upgrade health services and ensure increased efficiency and sustainability of its resources. The Minister of Health is stressing the ministry's keenness on further developing the health sector and achieving the desired goals. The Jordanian monarch, His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn al Hussein, received at the Al Husseiniya Palace in Amman the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, on the occasion of his visit to Jordan in the presence of the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs and expatriates, Ayman al Safadi. The Minister of Foreign Affairs conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn al Hussein and their wishes of abundant health and happiness to the Jordanian monarch and of continued growth, prosperity, security and stability to the Jordanian people. The Jordanian monarch asked the Minister of Foreign Affairs to convey his greetings and appreciation to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister hailing the bonds of brotherhood and mutual understanding between the two countries. He stressed the keenness of Jordan to continue joint fraternal efforts to develop bilateral cooperation between the two brotherly countries for the benefit of the two brotherly countries. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, had arrived yesterday in Amman on an official two-day visit to Jordan. Upon arrival, he was received by the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs and expatriates, Ayman al-Safadi, Bahrain's Ambassador to Amman, Ahmed Yusuf al rawai and Jordan's Ambassador to Bahrain and Dean of the Diplomatic Corps, Rami Saleh al-Adwan, as well as senior officials in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Expatriate Affairs. The Minister of Finance and National Economy affirms Bahrain's keenness on continuing the implementation of the priorities and plans of the Economic Recovery Plan and the adoption of initiatives to achieve the goals of the Fiscal Balance Programme. The Minister stressed that achieving goals comes through unifying efforts to accelerate the completion rate according to the highest quality levels to contribute to achieving the results that will enhance the national economic growth. The Minister of Labour, Jamil Hamedan, held a press conference on the latest developments in employment and training during the first half of 2022, which comes within the implementation of the initiatives of the National Labour Market Plan 2021-23 that falls under the priority of creating promising job opportunities and making citizens the first choice in the labour market, which aims to employ 20,000 Bahrainis and train 10,000 and annually until 2024 as part of the economic recovery plan. Maidan affirmed the continuation of efforts towards promoting the creation of more qualitative opportunities and development paths that primarily target citizens to create a prosperous presence and a bright future in accordance with the visions and aspirations of His Majesty the King and the continuous directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Minister said that the National Labour Market Plan contributed to the growth of the job-generating economic sector
sectors in the labor market and the rise in employment rates during the first half of this year, achieving 72% of the target of employing 20,000 Bahrainis annually until 2024. On the occasion of 75 years of India's independence, the Embassy of India held a flag hoisting ceremony followed by a reception. The ceremony was attended by over a thousand people, including officials at the Kingdom and representatives of Indian community associations, Indian schools, Indian professionals, workers and students. Ambassador Piyush Saravastava issued a message on the celebration of 75 years of India's independence in which he spoke about the significant milestone, the strike. India had made and highlights of India-Bahraini bilateral relations. And on this occasion, the Ambassador of India to Bahrain, Mr. Piyush Sarvastava, made the following statement. Yesterday, we celebrated 76th Independence Day of India. This was an historical occasion of 75 years of India's independence. The overwhelming participation of close to 1,500 Indian community members and Bahraini dignitaries and people in these celebrations reflects the depth of our historical and close pirate ties. We are celebrating golden jubilee of diplomatic relations between India and Kingdom of Bahrain, which will conclude this year. We can look at this journey with pride and sense of fulfillment. Our relations today are close, friendly and diverse, covering broad spectrum of political, defense and maritime security, economic and trade, cultural and people-to-people -people connect. I am very optimistic. There is robust cooperation between our two countries, not only bilaterally, but also at the regional and international fora. The regular high-level political exchanges and interactions have bolstered and energized our relations. We have had excellent collaboration in dealing with the pandemic. Our two countries have achieved their highest ever bilateral trade of US dollar 1.6 billion last year. Indian investments have reached 1.5 billion. Bahrain joined International Solar Alliance this year. India joined Combined Maritime Forces headquartered in Bahrain as an associate partner. The cooperation is set to intensify as India and Bahrain find themselves in a complementary position to benefit from each other. Technology, IT, health and pharma, education, food sector, energy, skilling and startups focusing on youth will be the key drivers. The dynamic and vibrant Indian community continue to be a strong link in our bilateral ties. I take this opportunity to convey our thanks and gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the government and people of Bahrain for welcoming our community with open arms and ensuring their well-being, safety and security. I am confident that our historical bonds of friendship and multifaceted bilateral cooperation will scale greater heights in times to come.